Is controller on mobile gaming cheating? If you play Warzone Mobile with your fingers, your lobbies just got unfair. Look, this is this is going to definitely create and spark up a new argument for the replacement of the mouse and keyboard versus controller debate. Okay? I do not think that you should be using a controller on a mobile device. Now, listen, M and K is a whole different story. Mouse and keyboard. The, the mouse is so overpowered, the keyboard, in my opinion, is the hard part. I've discussed this I don't know how many times. It's so easy to use mouse and so easy to aim and track things on the mouse, especially with some practice. Like, if you practice for at least, like, a few weeks, maybe, just actual gameplay practice, you can get really good. If you use something like Aim Labs or something, you in, in, in the same amount of time, you'll get so much better at playing the game. A a any game, doesn't matter. Apex, Call of Duty, it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. The keyboard's the hard part, okay? Controller is not as simple as just pick it up and become like the best world champion e ever. Anyone that has the argument saying that controller is, there's like all the people in the world are, are all the number one people, all the number one players in esports are controller players. Those people are practicing daily. They're practicing hours upon hours. It's not just the aim assist. They've learned how to use it to their advantage, possibly, but it's not that. Like, there's no way that an average player or a new player can just pick up a controller and beat a minimal massive keyboard player. The thing that I wanted to speak about whenever it comes to mobile gaming and controller is that there are some disadvantages, but I can tell you those disadvantages will be disappearing. One of the major disadvantages that I know about is that controllers are attached to, you know, your mobile device using Bluetooth. And by using Bluetooth, there's some lag, there's some input lag, which, you know, yeah, of course. But if you heart, if you wire it in, I, th I, th I think there's also game pads now. I think that might actually go away. I, don't, I haven't tested that, so I, so I don't 100% know. Within a few years, that stuff will probably go away. Then it'll definitely be overpowered, not only with the aim assist, but then with no input lag. It's going to be kind of crazy. And if people that are just playing with their fingers using the actual screen controls... That's going to be overpowered. It's going to be really unfair for a lot of people. So I think we should keep the controller off of mobile gaming. If you are going to do it, you should have controller-only lobbies. If there's enough people. If there's not enough people, then there's no way to fill a lobby. Obviously, you're going to have to mix the two. But that's the one That's the one disadvantage that I can really see. If there's not enough people using controller, you can't really make separate lobbies. It, it's like it's like doing Xbox-only lobbies if people aren't playing the games any, anymore. You know, or PC-only lo lobbies if people aren't actually playing the game anymore. That's the... That's the beauty of cross-platform. Pla you know, games die a lot slower because there's more people playing. And that's that's really the uh, the advantage there. So personally, I don't think it's really cheating, but I but I think that a lot of the di a lot of the the disadvantages to controller on mobile gaming is going to be gone within the next five or ten years, and then that's where I think we're going to have real is issues, and then we're going to spark another you know controller versus M and K debate, but just you know for twenty forty or whatever the year is going to be at the, at the time.